Oh, yeah. Ever so dangerous. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. As we look at the steel surround the ring, Corey, what are your thoughts heading in here? There is nothing more barbaric than this, Cole. It's like we have a couple of caged animals locked up inside that steel. A six-time champion. I sometimes question the fact that she's friends with Alexa Bliss. But despite that fact, she's a legend. Cole, it sounds to me like maybe you're a little bit jealous that Mickey gets to spend time with the goddess and you're not even allowed to look in her general direction. Maybe. You too, Michael? Mickey James, uh, also a talented country singer. Mickey James, talented in the ring, talented behind the microphone. Byron, one of these days you'll find something you're good at in life. Maybe not. Singles action is underway, and in this one, oh, I wouldn't man. attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Look at him, locked inside that cage like a couple of hey. rabid animals. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. She's got her now, guys. tone seems to suggest you think she's in trouble here. Trust me, it's going to take a lot more than this. And Ember Moon tries the early cover and an early kick out. She's still in this one. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other, like WCW's Tower of Doom. All right, we talked about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match, where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. 
Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. Ember Moon is getting... Wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. This is it. This is her chance. There it is. Now the question is, can Ember Moon finish? Byron, one thing we learned very early on about Ember Moon is that she can overcome any adversity thrown her way. Yeah, I think she proved that most in 2017 when she was sidelined for several weeks due to a shoulder injury, but eventually returned. Ember Moon is getting ready. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. Whatever happens, it's not gonna be good. I can tell you that. If I can read, can she keep her down? She's not going away yet. She's still in this one. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. Folks, we're in Rosemont. Look out! Look at her go! And it's McKinney James with a mick kick. Here's her chance. Cover, cover! Might have slipped there, Cole. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. And it's Mickey James making a move. Oh, spiking DDT. Game, set, match. This shoulders down. This could be it. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. I can't believe what we're seeing here. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. That landed perfectly. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to give here soon. Yes! Unreal performance. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. From the opening bell, this match was one for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here is your winner, Mickey James. They proved who the better competitor was tonight. And to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. Well, that was indeed a great match, and I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is.